This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the RL21 Round Lock. This one is branded by Locket.com, though I believe it's made by a UK company called Pragmasis. It's a barbell-shaped padlock that's designed for securing chains up to 16 millimeters in diameter, though they also sell a version that will handle 19 millimeter chains. Now the main advantage to this design is that it is very resistant to common brute force attacks. Once a chain is secured in between the two halves, the shackle is no longer exposed, making most cutting and grinding attacks far more difficult. And because the two halves can freely rotate while locked, that means most twisting attacks will not work either. So because of this unique design, I think this lock's going to pack a resistance to brute force similar to many locks two to three times its size and weight. Now holding those two halves together is a ball bearing locking mechanism. That mechanism cannot be shimmed or bypassed, and securing everything is a disc detainer core. There are seven discs in here, eight if you count the gated spinner, and it seems to tension from a rear or middle disc. So let's see what it takes to pick this open. But first, I am going to lock this on a chain. This is a 15 millimeter chain with pass through links. If you're going to be securing larger chains, you definitely will need one with links that pass through each other. Now that this is secured in place, I'm going to rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made, pick up disc number one, and then we're going to start picking on disc two. Okay, two is loose, so is three. So is four, nice click out of five, little click on six, and seven is loose, probably a zero cut. Back to the beginning, click out of one, or I'm sorry, that was two. Number three feels like it's in a gate. Nice click out of four, little bit of movement on that core. We probably have everything set but disc one. So let's go to disc number seven, which is a zero cut. Tension off of seven, counter rotate one, and we got this open. Okay, so as you saw, that wasn't a terribly difficult pick. We got into it pretty quickly, and I think the absence of false gates were a contributing factor. It's something I would love to see the company add in the future, and that would go a long way toward bringing the security level of the core up to the rest of the lock, which is actually quite good. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.